Well, hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a one-hour FaceTime session, just hit the More button and follow the link on over. I hope everyone's doing well, vibing high, living your best Scorpio life. We are getting a look-see at the seven-day forecast. We are moving into our season, Scorp, officially on the 22nd. There is also a Pluto Sun square on the 22nd, and um, this could have emotions all over the place. Think of the conscious and the unconscious meeting, and it is at a 90 degree angle. This is a big square, Scorpio. On um, tomorrow, you may feel this energy if you are, um, you know, sensitive to energy and the overall. I do have some energy pulled out just to save time and the overall energy, the tower. So some of you over the next seven days, there's some obstacle you may conquer. It could be a challenge. There could be um, something here coming up that you're going to have to work through. Remember, life is always happening for you, not to you. Some of you, this is a good tower. It's just fast, quick change why is the overall energy the tower for the next seven days spirit Ooh, could have to do with something that happens online or somebody that is incredibly lustful some of you are emotionally removed you've been recharging your mind you've been in introspection you may decide to online date you could meet a new lover online and it will bring a tower into your life you may be getting your passion back for life over the next seven days, some of you are finally coming out of isolation, or there could be somebody that has ghosted, fell off, coming out of isolation to wish you a happy birthday, and happy birthday to my Scorpio Libra Cuspers, um, happy birthday to those that have a birthday in the next seven days. Tell me about this, please. What is online? Some of you are starting a online business. It's going to go very well. Um, you're going to find a lot of success in it. Those that have just started a business, just know the more you heal, the more success you're going to find. Over the next seven days, you could decide to quit a job. Some of you may walk out of your job, Scorpio. Remember to not overreact to, to things. You may find emotions are running incredibly high. The divine asking you to balance yourself out over the next seven days. Find some harmony. Guys, when you find inner peace, true inner peace, not many things in your outer environment can knock you out your square. The problem is, is when we don't have inner peace inside and then life challenges happen, we're all over and we can't, it, we have a hard time controlling our emotions and our actions. So over the next seven days, if something happens here to um, make you feel all discombobulated, just find peace. You can choose happiness. You can choose to stay grounded. You don't have to freak out or lose your mind. It looks like there could be some arguing and fighting with somebody you work with. Just be mindful of that. Rest and recovery right now. Get in your winter arc. Take care of you. Set a goal from now until January 1st. You're going to be already um, working through your New Year's resolutions. You're going to be really finding health, you know, feeling healthy, finding inner peace, and um, taking care of you. If I haven't said this already, as Sagittarius could be important to you. The message from your guides, angels, and ancestors about the next seven days, you are being reminded that persistence is what is necessary to attain a goal. You need to be patient and trust that the universe will help you through your challenges in divine timing. Success is guaranteed. I claim spirit. This is what I mean. Some of you over the next seven days, there could be some things happening and you're going to have to persevere 
be patient, trust the universe, trust that everything is happening for you, not to you. Your guides want you to know, Scorpio, that um, with, with perseverance, with patience, you will meet this goal. It's just moving a little slower than you wanted it to. It's just moving slower than you have um, anticipated. Some of you started a new business. Some of you have been job searching. It's moving a little slow. You haven't been getting any hits or, or any interviews. Or you've been going to interviews and not getting the job. It's because uh, there's something better coming for you. You're wounded, but you're persevering through. You are the wounded warrior right now. A lot of you have been beat all the way up by life, but your guides, your angels, your ancestors want you to know with patience and perseverance, success is guaranteed. So if you've just started a business and things are a little up and down, Scorpio, just remember that all in divine timing. Um, what it is you should be working on over the next seven days, stuck in lack. You have all the resources you need to carry you through, whether it's financial, emotional, physical limitations that have you, that have you, it is only ego-based fear taking over. Rein them in and don't give in to them. The divine asking you to get out of this lack mindset. Some of you are stuck in a lack mindset. I've been there. Um, something happened, a breakup, a loss of a job, and you haven't been able to push yourself out of this mindset of feeling like everything's terrible or you don't have enough. Um, abundance, happiness, joy, prosperity is, is surrounding you, Scorpio. It's always there for you, but it's just about making the right decisions, getting in the right vibration and taking care of you, finding inner peace and getting your mind out of this lack place will be important over the next seven days. If you really want to be happy, if you want to be successful, that's what you will work on stubborn some of you are just very stubborn arrogance not seeing flaws hinders growth know your limits and learn and improve awareness and growth it can denote perseverance but it also may hinder progress flexibility resolve again with growth some of you are in this place where you're blaming other people and other things for where you are. Scorpio, you are the one that is in charge of your life. Your guide's letting you know that you may be a little stubborn right now. Um, and you're being called to work on that fixed mindset, that fixed, that, that fixated energy Scorpios can get in. Perhaps you need to start looking for different avenues or maybe it's time to um, pivot and start trying something different or maybe it's time for you to um, get out of a place of living in the what if what if this what if that what if they do this what if this happens what if that happens because you're just hindering your own progress and growth tell me why stuck in black please over the next seven days, you may really want to work on your mindset. Work on um, saying affirmations every morning, every night. Listen, listen to subliminals. Really um, get yourself out of this place of heartache, sadness. Most of you, 444. No, 844. <laughs> My eyes, guys. A lot of you are in this place because of a breakup or a job loss. You could have went through a breakup and, um, you know, now you do not have, you, you're, you're the only one paying the bills. You could have went through a breakup and now you think you're never going to meet anyone that you love or you can't find the right person. But perhaps it's stubborn energy stopping you from fully living your best life. An Aquarius could be important to you. The next seven days in love. Comfort zone, not trying new things, stuck in your comfort zone, dating the same type of people, generosity, receiving a gift, blessings and miracles. Scorpio, over the next seven days, there could be a lover that gives you something. You could meet someone that's very generous, but you're not 
stepping outside your comfort zone. You're dating the same kind of people around the same kind of person. And you're just getting the same results. It may be time for you to step outside your comfort zone and stop meet you know, stop meeting people at the bar. Stop meeting people from your friend group or community. Maybe it's time for you to expand your horizons in some way. Um, some of you, you just won't even think about possibly being with somebody else and you've been alone, you've been isolating and in this lack mindset. And in the divine speaking here this morning, it's hindering your growth and progress because you're in this stubborn, stuck place. Some of you need to step outside your comfort zone now. Start doing new things, trying new things. Tell me about love over the next seven days. Why comfort zone? Yeah, there's somebody that's been really hot and cold. You've been on and off with. You won't even consider possibly healing and moving on. You've been just waiting for this person to come back. But the longer they take, the more angry you get. And so, unfortunately, now this relationship has pain, resentment, anger attached to it. Only 10% of relationships make it after a breakup because no one heals, no one grows. They, we get back together, we do the same thing, expecting new results, expecting us to be different people, but sometimes we are who we are, they are who they are, it is what it is, and the only choice you have is to heal, let go, forgive, and move forward. If that's not you, well, then, Scorp, you can stay here and you can wait in your comfort zone. But just know that you're hindering your growth. You don't even have to start dating. How about just starting to allow your mind to think about dating other people when you're ready in the future? It's about a mindset for some of you. It's not even about getting out there and dating right now. You're clearly not healed enough to do so for some, but you know, allowing yourself to think about possibly being loved by someone else um, can really help you attract in some beautiful things. There's somebody you've been dealing with that has the grass is greener syndrome. They're never satisfied and they're a serial dater. This is what they do. And there's nothing you could have done, changed at all, Scorp. Tell me about this generous gift, please, in the next seven days. <clears throat> there's a situation that um, may confuse you. There's a person that may come in giving you something some beautiful gift, jewelry, you know, taking you on a vacation, paying one of your bills, I don't know, some gift, but the situation is tricky and hard to figure out for you, and so it's going to keep you in your mind stuck. You're trying to act unfazed like you don't care, but some of you are in a lot of pain, and you're being asked to dig deeper if there's a situation that comes up in the next seven days, somebody who wants to provide for you, give to you, but you don't feel love for them, um, be careful on accepting their gifts is another message I'm getting. Some of you, please be careful on giving people money or you know, if you, falling for something here. Somebody may want you to be generous with them. Um, do not give somebody money, Scorpio, that hasn't given you anything. Um, this person could be coming back because they're broke or they fell on hard times wanting you to do something for them. What is this tricky situation in the next seven days, please? Oh, yeah, there's some illusion, Scorp. This person could be really attractive. They could use their sexual energy to try to get you to give to them. Um, for some, for others, there's been a third-party involvement, a third-party lover, and there's a lot of illusion. The situation is just really tricky. This person has a lot of love for you. They could be another Scorpio, a, a water sign, a Cancer, or a Pisces. 
there could be some good news coming in, some messages coming in, but please understand that something about this is not as cut and dry as a lot of you want it to be. There could still be a third party lingering in the background, especially if they share resources or children with, with somebody. It, it, it does look like um, you may decide to step outside your comfort zone over the next seven days. You may finally decide to do so. You would have a win. Although the situation may be confusing and tricky for some of you because you're going to just not know which move to make. You're in a on and off relationship and you could meet someone new but still have love for someone old. And so it's going to be up to you. There's no right or wrong decision. It's just in alignment or out of alignment. Those that have had a family with this person, a life with them, there could be some kind of win. They may be, yeah, y'all are matching here. Whoever this is, whether this is an old person or a new person, it just depends here. Um, y'all match in the energy, the king and queen of cups. You definitely both have love for one another, passion. You're intuitively connected. Um, there, you know, if, if this person could get their head out of their ass and stop thinking that, um, you know, like chasing the next best thing and, and, and start being satisfied and happy with what, what they have right in front of them, you could have a great win, but that is a big, what if, because this is somebody who tends to come in really hot and heavy. They want to make up. They want to get back together. They love you. They love you. They love you. But then as soon as the relationship simmers down or life gets hard, they're uh, sniffing around for the next best thing. And you've been on and off with this person for quite some time for most of you. Um, so just be mindful, Scorpio, that... Something about this is not what it seems. Now we have the king and queen of wands. A lot of you have another soulmate coming in, okay? You have somebody that is very, they're a leader. They're sexy, hot, hot, like someone very attractive here, I feel. Um, but then you have an old person. You could have been married to this old person for a long time. There seems to be a lot of familiar like you feel very you know this person and then a new a new person that could come in and match you as well you may have two soulmates in your midst Scorpio some of you are going to have a big decision to make over the next seven days you may meet someone that's incredibly attractive that does it for you all the way that's very generous but you're still in love with a past person, so it's going to make the situation very tricky. Others, this person here that you are in love with is involved with a third party, and um, it's a tricky situation because you want to be chosen. It hurts. I hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed day, and we are going to have Scorpio. We are going to have the best fucking week we've ever had stand up jump around get yourself ready you are highly you are blessed and highly favored baby this is going to be the best day best week of your life love and light